Hey yo, what's poppin'? So today we're actually going to be talking about Adam 22 and before anybody tells me, yes, yes, I know it's been a while, but I'm going to talk about that more at the end of the video, so let's just jump into what I have to say. Adam 22 is in a YouTuber that I used to watch very much often in 2015, 2016, I guess, maybe 2017 too, when uh, more underground artists that I used to actually love listening to at the time, like X, Ski Master, Slump God, Lil Pump, all of them would go on his show and they'll he'll ask questions and basically an interview type podcast show about an artist which was pretty cool at the time. Adam22 is definitely a great guy for giving underrated artists or underground artists, what people will call them nowadays, a platform to actually speak about some of their views and flaws on how they got, you know, the come up to music and how it started off for them. This is a great platform for rappers to actually speak about their daily life and how things were ran. Fast forward to 2018, accusations on Adam 22 then came out about him being a, mm, I cannot say that word on YouTube, I'm glad I caught myself. Basically what I was trying to say was an S.A. Um, S.A. person who did S S.A. I, I don't know, but um, yeah, since I can't say that word on YouTube, or um, I don't know maybe they'll take my channel down but adam 22 from no jumper declined and debunked these accusations in 2018 but then in 2023 the accusations came back to him and these accusations were basically the same thing about what happened in 2018 but this time more people caught on to it it is currently july 2023 i am recording this on the 19th and adam 22 is all over the news on social media I open TikTok I see Adam 22 I open Instagram I see Adam 22 I open Twitter I see Adam 22 but this time it's more Adam 22 Lena the plug and Jason love but this time it's it's a more unserious a more unserious problem Adam 22 is a married man and not too long before he got married his wife Lena the plug did a scene with a uh, corn star let's call him that now I haven't seen the video I don't want to see the video I don't watch those type of videos but just hearing about it, it it leaves an itch on my back you know because you are a husband um, you married this woman and the first thing she does is get railed by some black guy. I'm 39, and I've really made something out of myself in life. Yeah, in yeah, a way yeah. That no you one's watching that shitty fucking podcast. You have to get your girl because that podcast was dead. It yeah, was dead. It was dead than me when I beat my tumor. Fuck you. Now, I don't know how I would feel about that, but I would feel a little hurt, you know? And imagine having children, and they grow up. And they say, look, this is your mommy. This was two days after she got married. How would you feel about that? Now, it's even more because now everybody forgot about the accusations that have came up on his name. It's more to look at what he's doing. He's getting cucked in online. And I mean, I understand why Jason Love agreed to the scene, you know. It's for money. I mean, why do you think every... P.S. Star does it. It's for money. And only f fans thought. She goes online, upload pics. You know she's doing it for money. She don't care about anything else. She's doing it for money. Lena the Plug, she did it for money, you know? That's all the world revolves around now. Money. You can't have a simple friendship if it's not around money. You know? And I feel like Adam22 doesn't really care about the video because it's a distraction away from what's been actually going on with the accusation. He talked about it once in 2018. He haven't talked about the one in 2023, I don't believe. But that's also because this is coming out. Jason Love and Lena the Plug, you know? All, of, all because of their video. He doesn't care about anything else. Because I know deep down inside, Adam22 is hurting. He is hurting. He's suffering in the inside. 
it's 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 horrendous i don't feel bad for adam 22 not once because he knows what he's doing he's a grown man a grown man as i'm scrolling down on twitter right now i see that accusations have been popping up on adam 22 name from like 10 years ago before no jumper i guess now if the accusations are true adam 22 is just a strange strange man and he's actually up to no good and Lena the Plug is even stranger for sleeping and marrying a man that is strange. I also don't know what goes through women's mind. You know, you have a man, you know, it looks like he treats you good. He, he buys you a car. He gives you money. He supports you. He posts you. He supports your OnlyFans. But then you want to take it even further to sleep. Well, I wouldn't say sleep, but, um, you know, do the dirty deed with another man online and post it. That just makes Adam-22 look bad, and it makes Lena the Plug look bad. Now, Jason Love, he's in his own lane, man, you know? He gets to do whatever he wants. He's not caring about nothing. I honestly accept everybody that's on Twitter for calling out Adam-22 for not letting the distractions go deep down. And they're actually calling him out, you know? They're not letting the video or the scene or Jason Love or the beef or whatever, you know, I don't care about none of that, but um, they're not letting these die down, you know, they're giving Adam-22 what he deserves, they're telling him uh, to talk about the accusations, you know, it's not that popular right now, but once it catches up and actually catches the media attention and actually catches Adam-22's attention, I'm pretty sure it already caught his attention, but he's just going to, you know, let this keep going up the video and Jason Love and he's just going to chill and sit back and act like accusations were not called on his name and he's not going to talk about them no time soon. So now let's actually watch the Adam 22 video, the accusations in 2018. Now let me give you a warning. This video is with his wife Lena the plug and we're going to watch it right now. So I actually just tried to watch the video and I'm currently recording right now and uh, there's no way I can watch it and I don't see nothing on YouTube about it so it's kind of like how am I supposed to watch it you know uh, video is currently nowhere so that's it folks oh my goodness so yeah I'm about to put this in a video right now but um Sadly to say, no Adam 22. So yeah, uh, he took down the video. Well, he didn't take down the video, he unlisted it. So only certain people with access can actually watch the video, which is kind of interesting, you know? But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, time to actually wrap up the video. Uh, Benji commentary actually has to talk to you guys. It's been over maybe a year, 11 months, 12 months, I don't know. But um, I haven't made a video, haven't edited a video, haven't did anything with the video in 11 months. You know, it's been a long time. And I can tell you a lot has happened. A lot has changed. I grew my hair out. I got into fashion. I started making music, better music. Dropped an album. And honestly, I've just been trying to get my life all back together. Started working a full-time job and now i've just been so busy and now i'm thinking about getting into college so i guess this is a new start for benji commentary benji commentary is i'm not going to say i'm back but i would love i would definitely love to be back making videos just like this again i absolutely love this style of videos but my channel is close to getting deactivated it has two strikes now from roma army which we are going to talk about in the next video and uh maya west the playmate tessie girl it's crazy man i haven't heard her name in like a year dude but um yeah so if you want to support me by any chance i do have an album everywhere on all platforms called weekend together doing the complete opposite of what everyone tells me to do it's a very experimental album
but I would love, I would definitely love for you to just go check it out. Go listen, check it out. You might like it, you might hate it. The first three songs are like rock songs, you know what I'm saying? But I think it's pretty good. So, um, yeah. Now, Benji commentary out with another video. I missed you guys. And, <laughs> fuck it, I'm back. Benji commentary out. Peace.